Wow, look at this. It's generated by AI, artificial intelligence, which is generated from, wait for it, the art of humans. Artists, you know, people who create art. Every word is loaded, isn't it? Artist, people, create, art. Up until very recently, an artist was a human being who created art. There was just no other way to do it. Maybe it was good, maybe it was great, maybe it was awful or hard to understand. Maybe it was derivative. Maybe it's all derivative, you know, based on what has gone before. Another way of looking at this is that art progresses. No, no, that's the wrong word. The scope of art expands, building on whatever went before. Does this make all but a few artists mere cogs in the machine, churning out images or sculptures or assembling installations? Are almost all artists just style copyists? And who says style is more important than intent, anyway? Hold that thought. Create. What an artist does. Make art. There is a producer, and there is a product. Up until not so recently, all artistic creations were unique. One-off objects of artistic creation, valuable not just for how they looked, but also for their rarity. The rarity of one just one. Even in a series like Monet's Water Lilies, each version is a one-off. No two are the same. You can't print off a hundred Mona Lisas. Well, except you sort of can now. Sure, the original is extremely valuable. So valuable that just being near it is an occasion for a picture of you being near it. Now we can copy, we can photograph, but for this to work, there still has to be an original created object, even if it's digital, somewhere. What is art? Well, you can see my video on that if you like, but I'll cut to the chase of it. Art is communication. Art communicates from one soul to another at a level mere words cannot accomplish. As Edward Hopper said, if I could say it in words, there would be no need to paint it. So what about AI art? I did my own research among my friends. A composite view I got out of this can be summarised as If AI produces a pleasing image, or even a better image, so what? After all, art is what looks good to me. This is the it matches the colour of my cushions in the living room view of the purpose of art. But if art is, as I have posited before, communication between people, then what is being communicated by the machinations of an algorithm that simply churns through a billion existing images and assembles pixels to match a text prompt? Sure, it's pretty, even stunning, but is it art? And my phrase just then, churns through a billion existing images, is getting to the meat of why AI art at least in its current incarnation, is a dead end. Uh, look, even the word incarnation is a lie. It's not flesh and blood. It just mimics it. No real communication can exist. Yes, the text prompt came from a human being, but that's just words. Remember, if we can communicate effectively with just words, why have art at all? Where is AI getting its ideas from? Apart from the prompt text, which only just creates a search space from which to analyse existing images for ideas. The key phrase is existing images. All AI is doing currently is mining the collective artistic expression of thousands, millions of artists to recombine them in new ways and create sometimes stunning images. But that's all they are, recombinations. Although the images appear fresh and new, the intent is non-existent. The communication, such as it is, is shallow at best, meaningless at worst. But, you might say, isn't that what all artists do? Apart from the few true pioneers, Picasso, say. Yes, most artists are inspired by or influenced by those who have gone before. And yes, artists are inspired or influenced by artistic style to which they may add their own contribution to the canon of that style. 
But incarnate flesh and blood artists also convey an intent, a meaning behind the image, a reason it was painted, a purpose in mind, even if the artist could not name it, especially if the artist could not name it. Intent may be obvious in, say, Guernica, something I doubt any AI would have come up with had it not crawled over Picasso's work pixel by pixel. Intent is somewhat clear in Christina's world, less clear in Autumn Memories, and even completely obscure in something by Rothko. It may be lurking underneath a simple landscape or a bucolic scene, or shimmering over the surface of one of Monet's water lilies. But intent is there, real human intent. Intent to communicate something, to get under our skin, to speak as human to human, beyond the poor superficiality of mere words. To awaken a kinship of experience, a way of seeing, a moment of revelation, a deeper understanding. Something humans experience, not something an algorithm will ever understand or convey, except in a way that tries to fool us. One of my all-time favourite paintings is Edward Hopper's Gas from 1940. I did a video about it, of course, but all that does, and all the words I'm spouting now does, is attempt to help others see something which neither I or Hopper can put into words. You either see it or you don't. It either tugs at something beyond articulation, or it's just a picture of a man at a gas station. Can AI art come up with something like this on its own? Because if it can only approximate it by passing some keywords and reviewing billions of prior images, what new thing is being said? This is why AI art is a dead end. It relies wholly on the work of real artists as its data space. Should AI art completely take over, not something I think will happen, then at that moment art will be forever frozen in time. Sure, as new AI images are generated, they will themselves form part of the data space of future AI images. But without any new human source material, it will be chasing its own tail, spiralling down a plug hole of cleverly masked repetition or cleverly disguised derivative, literally derivative, images. You can have fun saying give me a dog using an iPhone in the style of Picasso. But the intent is so shallow, you can put it into mere words. And the image has relied on the vision and spark of an artist that may have never turned to art had AI been invented a hundred years ago. In the end though, I'm not pessimistic. Art was written off when the camera was invented, but all it did was flower into deeper interactions between humans. I am sure that somewhere someone is already using AI as a tool to generate art, real art, deep communication between humans' art, and that the AI being used for that is only being used as a tool. But to think that AI will itself replace art misses out on what art is. So enjoy your dog using an iPhone, and then remember that all an algorithm can do is take cues from the work of real artists. Real artists must continue for even AI art, such as it is, to have any kind of chance. And real art comes from real artists. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press like. If you want to be notified when I put out more reactions to great art, please subscribe. See you next time.